Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hi. This is Katana Marceau. You know me as Katana Marceau, but actually my real name is Katana Deaver. Because, um, of course, I'm married to Basil, but I chose to keep my maiden name. I can do that. I don't have to. Anyway, first of all, what I'd like to really say first is I really want to thank all those callers last night. We really had a blast. Had Basil bouncing on his toes. Now, that's just something. He was all excited. Now, it's always a great day when Basil can bounce on them toes, huh? Okay. I promised you last night, and I really didn't have time, was to show you the sword. Well, look what I have. This is the sword of the Templar. Get a good look at that. I can't give you the length of it because it's a very heavy sword, but it goes on and on and on. I really can't do that. Goes on and on and on. And it's heavy. Um, oh, let me get this out of the face. You, you've, you've seen it. Let me pass it over here to Basil. No, I can't do that because he'll rock the chair. I'll set it down over here. He'll rock the chair and knock the computer out again. This is like the third time. Um, I, I want to touch on something tonight. Uh, a few things that Basil's been involved in. But first, let me tell you what that, what that uh, sword means. In case anybody's interested about what I just showed you, the Pope gave the sword to the Knights of the Templar. Okay, and they went on crusade, on a crusade, and cut off the Muslims' heads. And that was a democracy movement. You know what I mean? You, you know, I, I know if you've read it, you've read your history, you know what I'm talking about. And I, I was, I talked about it last night. Um, what I'd like to do is take that sword right there. I'd like to go down to the capital in Nashville, and I'd like to take that sword and knock that Greek soldier down myself. I'd like to swing that thing right down and knock it down to the ground. That eight inch, or I mean eight foot, uh, statue of that Greek soldier needs to come down. And you, it's, it's right at the military park in Nashville. And do you, and do you know you, you know where, uh, uh, where what should be in this place is a recon marine. <clears throat> and he should be eight foot tall, or taller, I say ten. But anyway, there's some other things I want to talk to you about tonight. We've had an interesting day. Maybe you'll get a chance to tell you a little bit about that. <laughs> it's not always just... Uh, uh, politics and things like that with us we have we do have a wonderful time <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine right <laughs> you're with me on that um, I'll tell you one thing that is, is, is really uh, amazing my son you know he did uh, six years military two deployments in Iraq he um, he was uh, first sergeant he, he, he really did a wonderful job there he's he um, he went through a lot there, and you have to forgive me for smoking. I'm sorry. It's just one of them things I do. Um, he's in uh, he's in school in uh, medical school right now in college, and he took his two little girls to the lake yesterday. We call it the Blue Hole. We live in Tennessee. Okay, the Blue Hole, uh, right down the road from Possum Creek. <laughs> anyway, he took the, the two little girls down there and. They swam for a little while. They got out of the water and walking back to the car. Basil, shut up and stop singing. <laughs> he's singing something. I don't know what he's singing to me, but you're gonna mess me up by doing that. Um, yeah, they got out of the out of the water and walked back to the truck. And my granddaughter stepped on a moccasin, a water moccasin. You know what that is, right? Well, in Tennessee, we very well know what those what those are. And my son said it went like slow motion in his head, like kicked back into uh, military mode and. The next thing he knew, he said, he said it was just going so in his head. He's, he's seen her step on the snake. The snake reached its head up around, and it was just about eight inches from her leg. This is a four and a half foot snake. He tackled the snake, got a hold of it with his one hand, and he was like four inches short. So he grabbed a hold of it with the with the other hand and was was able to to break the snake's neck. But anyway, granddaughter's fine, son's fine. He's a little shook up over that, you know. It's his daughter my granddaughter anyway um at, at the things basil's doing you <laughs> you want to hear some more about what basil's doing okay um he's suing red bank and 
I want to know if they're doing this in, 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 in your counties and cities where you live. Just tell me if they really are. We have these, well, these um, cameras at our traffic lights there. And, I mean, they can get a fly off your dashboard with these cameras. I mean, the con our constitutional rights, we have the right. They don't have the right to look at our car. They don't have the right to even look at our license plate. I don't think, well, nothing above the license plate. Let's say that. Anything above the license plate is another darn business. And, yeah, we have the constitutional right. That's ours. So we're going to try to, and he wants to talk about the dead letter, but I'm not going to go there. It's a dead letter. So, but anyway, you know that because you've heard his speeches. I, I'm not going to go on with what Basil says. I'm going to go on with what I say tonight. Um, we want to bring those cameras down. Now, if I had it my way, I, I, I'd shoot them all out. <laughs> I'd shoot them all out. And we'd like to turn, uh, or Red Bank turn to a republic. We're, uh, Basil's there actually now in court trying to ask the judge, judge to uh, record it, and there's a B on the side of the chair there. I better get my EpiPen. To, he's try, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked by a bee. I'm allergic. Um, he's trying to order it back to a republic. Now, that would that would be fantastic. Uh, he's he's made a lot of changes in in, in a lot of count, uh, uh, cities and counties. Um, you can see it all up on the website. Um, like Van Buren, for instance, um, he got uh, a ticket for car insurance there. Yeah, he, he took it to the jury. Of, of course, Basil would take it to the jury. He isn't going to hear nobody argue about it. And uh, my cigarette went out. And uh, um, one of the jurors were wearing a flag on his shirt. And, of course, Basil stood up and had to say something about that because he was flying. He, he had no right to wear that. It was, it, it was wrong. It's against the flag law. So Basil made a big ruckus about that, and the jury gave him... 30 days and he ended up the judge you know apparently the judge actually liked basil a little bit so judge brought it down to two days and gave him free coke so he got out of that one but there's a few he didn't get out of like down here in in, uh, in chattanooga he uh he's pulled over for insurance again um and uh he showed up in the courtroom and uh they well they gave him a fine and everything and his time was in court, and he showed up, and judge says, uh, Basil Morso, you got your fine money? Well, he reached his hand around, and I mean, just reached it on around and around, and he reached around and slapped himself, well, I'm not going to say where, in his back pocket. And he said, Your Honor, got it right here, but you're not getting it. Well, that landed him 10 days in the county jail, compliments of the judge. Oh, yeah, yeah, he put me in jail, too, do you know that? Yeah, we were walking up the back steps with the judge, and for some reason, Basil was talking to him about something. <clears throat> I had a hearing that day, actually. Uh, nothing big. <laughs> Sorry, I can't amuse you with that. Well, I actually could, but I'm not gonna. Um, he was talking to ba Basil. Was talking to him about my court hearing. We were supposed to. We, he called him by the, at the back door where he, the judge always goes in. So we snuck in there with the judge. We're walking up the steps, and Basil's talking to him. He stopped in the middle of the steps, and there's a police officer in front of the judge. And he grabbed the police officer, tapped the police officer on the arm, and he turned around. And he said, you know what, Basil Marceau? I don't like you. Put her in jail. So I went to jail because they didn't like Basil. Oh, that was fun. Oh, I dug that. Every time Basil calls the FBI to um, discuss... To, to arrest all the constitutional violators, and believe me, Basil calls them, and he calls them, and he calls them. They've got to the point now where they just put him on speakerphone, and everybody listens to him over there because they all want to hear what, they has, what he has to say. But the highest court says no, and, uh, you, you know, you, they're going to still do it. it uh, we have to do something about all this, but uh, that I've already talked to you about that last night. So tonight what I want to talk to you about is... Hey, look, I need, we really need each and every one of you um, in your state. I don't care how many of you do it, and we still want them calls. We really want them calls. They were fantastic. Um, oh, got a little bling on. <laughs> um, we, uh, we want you uh, to go to the, um, the voters' registration in January and get a form. And we need you to get 25 signatures on that form to nominate Basil for president in your state so he can run for president in your state. So wherever you're at, 
in America, go get that form. Let's get Basil on there. Let's nominate him. Let's get him running. Let's get this ball rolling. Hey, if nothing else, man, we're going to have a blast. You already know that. It's going to be fun. So, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for it. I think I can handle this. Um, what do you think, first lady, huh? First lady, put down the cigarette. Oh, think they'll give me free cigarettes and beer? That's what a lot of people are saying over the internet. Free cigarettes and beer for me. Oh, well. So they say a lot of things. Doesn't mean they're all true. But, <clears throat> really, we, <clears throat> we really need your signatures. And we want more calls. We want more of them calls. <laughs> they were really fun. I, I really enjoyed them. I don't have my glasses on tonight like I did last night. I could put them on, but... Well, maybe I just will for a minute so I can actually see what I'm looking at here. Or what... There we go. Oh! There you are! <laughs> How funny, huh? Um, let, I want you to say hello to Basil real quick. I'm going to pan over to him. Just one second. Let him say something to you. Look here, Foof. Don't say come hit on her. Say it a little different. Come hit on her. No, Basil. Get my message. Have a nice day. I hope you heard that. <laughs> I hope you heard what he said. He said, um, um, what did you say? <laughs> come hit on her. <laughs> I thought he meant the computer, okay? He really meant the computer. <laughs> he didn't mean me. <laughs> okay, uh, listen. On on a serious note. Come on, let's get him nominated. Come on, guys, let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, get on board. Get on board. Don't just talk about it and say, oh, we like Basil. Yeah, we'll vote for him. We'll vote for him. Get that form. Get it signed. Let's get him nominated for president. Let's let, let's let him run. <clears throat> BasilMarceau.com is a man with a solution. He'll put in the best and kick out the rest. He'll break your constitution. BasilMarceau.com is a man with the law. And you can bet he'll be there to fight for your cause. So listen, my friend, very close to what I have to say. And be there at the polls on the next voting day. BasilMorso.com is a man with a solution. He'll put in the best and kick out the rest till break your constitution. Yeah. Hey, if nothing else, we'll write him in, won't we? We will write him in. I love you guys, and I really want you to have a wonderful night. Um, Hey, look, we're looking for a little bit of fun today. Somebody call us. 423-362-0088. Don't be scared. We're not afraid of you. <laughs> I'll even talk to you, okay? Maybe a little bit. God bless you, and um, have a nice evening. I can't say day, it's evening here. I can't be like Basil and say have a nice day. Have a nice evening. Say the Pledge of Allegiance. God bless. <laughs>